from Dallas, Texas. Welcome to This Week at Champion, hosted by Elvis Anderson and Anthony Manzo. Hi, welcome to another episode of This Week at Champion. I am Elvis Anderson alongside Anthony Manzo with today's top story. Yes, well, I think everyone has been hearing the news. By the way, thank you for the beautiful introduction, Elvis. My pleasure. I think everyone has been hearing a lot about uh, the comments from the UPS CEO on their negotiations and, and uh, contract ratification with the Teamsters. And the biggest part of this has been the quote-unquote $170,000 a year salary for all UPS drivers at the end of this five-year contract. But and the way she said it, so let's understand this too. Her name is Carol Tomei, the CEO of U UPS, United Parcel Service. And her quote, direct quote is this. When you look at total compensation by the end of the new contract, the average UPS full-time driver will earn about $170,000 okay. in both pay and benefits. This is what she told her investors on Tuesday. Now, a lot of people jumped out of their shoes when they heard this, okay? I mean, literally leaped out of their shoes because, well, you know, this is making more than doctors, pharmacists, <laughs> you know, I mean, firemen, sure. so it, policemen, and you know, it was like, wow. But I wanted to break down what she actually meant by this compensation. So, you know, right now, the average driver earns about $80,000 just in salary, okay? Just salary alone, forget about all the compensation and benefits that they're talking about. The next part is they're gonna be elevated to right around 100,000 over the next five years. So we're looking at about maybe a 5,000, a $4,000 increase every single year going up over five years. The, the other part that she's talking about is an increase in pension uh, contribution. The total increase will be up to $11.50 an hour in pension contribution throughout the year. That's about $24,000 a year that UPS will be contributing to all of their drivers' pensions on a yearly basis. So now we're looking at about $125,000 a year. The next part of that is they're going to be donating, and the way they look at this is, and this is an average, it's not exact math here, but it's about $25,000 per year to healthcare-based services as well as protection for, um, uh, you know, payroll protection. They're also going to have some additional things with uh, pay time. Uh, what am I, why am I forgetting Vacation? the word? No, no, that's the next one. The um, uh, retirement pension. God, I've lost my mind on this one. Oh, but, you know, for accidental falls and health care issues, sure. they, everything at work, you know, it's, that's the whole thing for all possible aspects of, of that. And then the last part is very simple. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be about, what we have here, about $20,000 going every year to uh, PTO and reimbursement of, of programs that they offer, like education reimbursement uh, right. and PTO programs. So that's really where they come up with that $170,000 figure. It's not that they're getting a paycheck for $3,200, $3,300 every single week. Sure. It's the total percent of package that they get yeah. to offer their employees. And right. God bless them, you know, doing right by their employees. Well, $170,000 is a big number. That's a big and number. And if you're a truck driver and you're thinking about <laughs> dropping everything you can and going and applying for UPS and it was expecting to get $170,000, not going to happen. Not That's happen. not the way it works. It's a lot of incentives and health care and insurance packaged in there. And some of those numbers are inflated. And so before you stop what yeah. you're doing and yeah. call UBS, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's take a close sure. look at the numbers. Thank Absolutely. you for that, man. So keeping it moving, a big part of the show is the industry, the people that make it happen. We're going to feature two this week. Beautiful. Two YouTube channels, one in Ohio, one in wow. Michigan. Two Moral states. enemies. Two states that don't like each other, but we down here in Texas love both of love them. them both. Let's get started with Ohio Truck Sales. You can find them on YouTube uh, at Ohio Truck Sales, and they're in Sun Sandusky, Ohio, doing fantastic work on YouTube. Good job, guys. And for all of our viewers, be sure to jump over there and subscribe. We're going to put right. uh, their link 
in the, no, may, maybe we should also ask him to uh, like and subscribe to us. What do you? That would be fantastic. We would love that as well. By the way, before <laughs> might be nice to stop along here before just, you jump over there. Maybe give us it. a little like and subscribe just for us as well. Just click the subscribe. Just, 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 click, just, click, just, click. Yeah. And also, let's go and uh, look at our friends in Holland, Michigan, at Hess Equipment. You can find them on YouTube at. K-U-B-U-T-E-1. They're also doing fantastic work on YouTube. We like to give credit where credit is Absolutely, due. And yes, we sir. recognize your efforts and take our head off. Respect. Good job. Let's keep this show moving. Good Let's morning. get into the Weekend Sports Report. Man, it is the dog days of summer, but we ain't slowing down. We are in the PGA Tours playoffs, the FedEx playoffs. Let's give a quick breakdown of how it works. It is a three. You know, where are they playing, by the way, Elvis? This week, they're in Memphis for the St. Jude Classic. Next week, they'll be in Chicago, and then the finals are in Atlanta. This is how it works. This week, there are 70 players who have qualified for the playoffs. They'll trim that to 50 next week, and then the final event will uh, is a field of 30 where a, a FedEx champion will be crowned, and they'll end up winning somewhere in the neighborhood of $15 million. Some outrageous number, but that's how it works. The WNBA are playing basketball games, and the Women's World Cup is happening in Australia. Yeah, uh, anyway, you know, this is also a great time to, to remind everyone that this is the first full weekend of NFL preseason football. Oh, we obviously had that debacle football. over in uh, Canton, Ohio football. with the lights going off last week, but now we are on the full slate of games. Ooh. So let's all remember, a lot of them were on Saturday. Uh, that's that's uh, college football. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's college football. That's all I think um, Yeah, and, uh, or professional baseball. One of the two. <laughs> Whoa. One, one, one of the two, man. Anyway. Whoa. Um, we're going to be kicking that off, and, and, and we're also, on that note, going to be introducing a brand new segment. New week. segment! We've let's, got a new segment this week. Let's it go. It's going to be called Max Betts. Max Betts. He's coming to us from Studio C. Studio C, right let's there. go to it right now. Max, take it away! Hey, this is Max Beckham at Max Betts. So, there's four plays this week. It's going to happen every week. First off, you have preseason football the Ravens versus Eagles. Ravens, money. Second game, Atlanta Braves versus Mets. Mets are trash. Take Atlanta. Third game, the Texas Rangers over San Fran, because the Rangers are hot. The third game, the fourth and final game, is going to be the Houston Astros over the Angels. I'll see you next week for some winners. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that, Max. That was exciting. They, you know what? With those tips right there, maybe we'll make the, the FedEx playoffs money. Yeah, 15, maybe make 10, 15 that, million dollars. Yeah, maybe some of that. No problem. FedEx playoff money. That's good I love stuff. That. Yeah, good absolutely. Stuff. All right. Keeping the show moving, yes. let's get into another favorite segment, the Foodie, Foodie Focus. Focus. Hey, another one. We like to keep it local. We like to keep it close to Champion Equipment Finance headquarters here in Richardson, Texas. And we're going to go right up the road to our friends at the Northside Draft House and Eatery. Beautiful. Our dear friend Blake Jutton is running an incredible operation up there. It's right across the street from the University of Texas Dallas campus. It's a big hangout for the students over there. Best smash burger in town. Absolutely. Quality wings. 50 beers on, on tap, draft. Right? I, mean, 50, I love it's beer. Like a cornucopia. That's fantastic. It's the only thing better than a than beer is a big beer selection, right? right. Wow, I love or options. Bourbon, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good too. Yeah. They got that also. Yes, yes, they do. And so, hey, respect to you guys over there, uh, Northside Draft House. You guys are uh, doing fantastic Great work. work. Yeah. Good job, and hey, we'll see you soon because we're actually coming your way for lunch. That's all we That's have today from Champion Equipment, Equipment Finance, Finance Headquarters in Dallas, Texas. Everybody have a great weekend. weekend. Thank you for watching. Like, follow, like, share. Subscribe. Subscribe.